This is between uh, Shin Jin So, who's the black player, and he's also the number one Go player in the world. Uh, he's basically this, I think he's still 19. Anyone knows current age? I think he's 19. He was 18. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> this is a tournament game. He's playing this with Ford on. This is like this past week. This is, this is like super current. You're getting, yeah, super current Go reviews. But <clears throat> I thought I would use this game really as an excuse to talk about the idea of finding candidate moves. <coughs> and I think for some people, this is like the really fun part of Go. A lot of times, uh, you know, you hear people say, oh, I don't like to read, or I don't know how to count, or I don't know how to evaluate how much that's worth. Uh, but you don't really <coughs> ever hear anyone saying, I don't like finding moves that look cool. <laughs> like, no one says that. Uh, so today, I thought we would just, just do this blue sky thing, where we would stop the, the game at various points, and have you guys just give me as many good candidates as you could, as you can. I might throw some out, I may reject some. You throw out a candidate move that is just awful, you are off the island. Um, but before we do this, I'll kind of ask, how, how often do you guys think you'll come up with, this, with as, let's say, a dozen, if you come up with a dozen candidate moves, how often do you think one of those would be a, a pro move on the board? How much one, one would be what? How, so so, so the, the pros are playing this game. Mm -hmm. If I gave you a dozen moves to come up with your best 12 candidates, mm -hmm. how often do you think it'll be the same move? One of those moves will be the same move as the pro actually played in the game. With 12 moves? Yeah. Almost all the time? So like 80%? If we had 12 moves to choose yeah. from, I would say, well, like 95% of the time. Wow, 95%. Well, right. with 12 moves, you well, can yeah. play any. I mean, it depends on how much you count. Like, if we had the same general idea. If you uh, said three moves, I would guess someone. <laughs> <more. laughs> All right, well, here. Does someone have a piece of paper or notepad or, or iPad or something? They can, they can keep track. Let's keep track and see how well you do. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll, and, and for each of these stopping places, we'll give you, you know, like 12 candidates to see if you can blue sky what the pro does. Right. I'll, I'll try. You'll try. You play along. I'll, I'll try. Right. Anyone else have a guess as far as a percentage? Because I want to. I want to calculate the percentage at the end of this. Are you coming up with these twelve moves? You guys are coming up with them, not me. It, it depends you on are. where you stop as well. You see, um, can, we, can we come up with twelve candidates? Like sixty percent. Sixty percent. Ninety. Sixty. I'll say seventy. Seventy. Okay, so you guys are pretty optimistic though. These are all over fifty percent. Twelve Unless you're picking lot. the weirdest points where they. To That's what I was thinking, uh, is if you're an adversarial picker, we're, 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 we're like, Fine, right, fine, oh, good. Here, black to play. Here's the first one. Go. Twelve candidates. Uh, approach or invade the upper left. Three, three, or both low approaches, yeah. That's three. Does that count as two? Oh, three, 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 invade. All three of those. Okay. Anyone else have any good candidates? R5. R5. Press, press that board. So, board left. Oh, oh, all the way over here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you want this? Th oh, this one yeah. in this direction. Okay. Uh, it's a little aggressive, it, but okay. Is it the night move approach to that one? Uh, this is also an approach when you have backup, and I don't know. I don't know if this counts as backup in the day as a robot, robot go or not. But this is also an approach move for a three. Uh, the thing about this approach move, if White doesn't respond, this is actually a really nasty follow-up. Because now, now White does it. Does White stay out the middle here? Uh, if White does, there's actually this move, which is also kind of cool. Like, White has no eyes, right? It's, it's kind of neat. Although Black probably won't play that right away. Black will play that move in the eye. Like, this, this Black will eventually do something out here, but Black will play the eyes. I'll say this is okay. This is a move to Canada. Again, this is Blue Sky. This is the fun part to go. I'm not here to, like, rain on your parade. If you have a good idea and can justify it, great. So we're up to four. Go faster. Four, I only got two. One, two, three, four. Okay. Your four so candidates. C6. Uh, C6. That's, cool. that's what we already, we already got that one. Yeah. You don't have to write all these down. I'm just asking. I'm just. All right. And what you're what you're recording, Bill, uh, is just. If uh, I found the move or if, not. if your candidate move is the same move the pro played. Okay. That's all you're recording. You don't oh. have to record the moves. Yeah. This is not. This is not. All right. 
<laughs> and uh, exercise. Well, that's, that's a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not supposed to be hard. C14. Sure. R14. Sure. K16. Uh, that one. Sure. Okay, good. You got it. Last place here. Good. You guys are one for one. <laughs> All right. This one's not an official question. But what do you think White played here? What are your candidates? What would be your candidates? C3 or C4. Yeah, basically there's only two choices, right? Which one do you think the pro played? C4. Yeah, robot style. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. All right. Next move. Three options. Good. E3, E4, or F3. Yeah, these are the normal ones. This is the one white place. I don't know. Sure, fine. <laughs> I'm only saying 90% of the picking at every move. I'm, 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 I really don't want to pick like the interesting positions where like it's a Tanukio position. Well, that is hard. The sequence, the sequence is okay. Yeah. Just, do, just do them all. Yeah. Sure, just do them all. Well, I'm, I'm, I don't want to. Next move for white. This is Joe Seki. There's only one move now, F2 right? F two is the. Yeah. Robots only play this one. If you're playing this one, you play this one. This one's this one's out of date. No one plays this one. Yeah. So that's that's why you choose this one. You choose this one to play this one. If you're not gonna play this, you don't play this. You play this or this. Mm. This is the robot way. This is Joseki. There's these. These don't count. There's only one sequence here. Like this is. There's there's only one path. All right. What's black do? Do you guys know the path? Yep. Which yeah. cut? Uh, three. Yeah. Three. Good. White. Next. Black takes the stone. White. And white cuts. Good. Good. Black takes the stone for real. And white sees the Yeah. Nice. All right. Get the iPad cut up here. All right. Candidates. Real position. Here we go. Something around C14 or C13, or even further down, like C10. Yeah, any of those. Good. You just gave me, David gave me five. <laughs> Seven more. Is that Joseki really settled here? Yes. Court, sort of. In, in uh, um, something like P4 or of left or left. Uh, oh, P4, P4. I'm, okay. Something around there. Okay. F4. Uh, continuing the just. What about R16? Yeah. Um, R16? No, 6. Oh, R6. Okay. okay. That's good. We're up to like, yeah, 7 or 8. Yeah, 4 left. Close the lower right at R forty. Good, you got it. That's the one the pro played. <laughs> so, so nice. uh, in my human estimation, right when I'm when I am looking through these candidates, this feels like thickness to me, yeah. right? So I would I would prioritize the top. But here's the thing about where Go currently is, is that. Uh, and actually, this is my interpretation. I don't know if this is actually true, but the robots and these pro players seem to not think this is of this as thickness, and, and it is because of this Aji. Right, black will get a free move anywhere over here whenever black wants to. So it's a crack, you know, in, in this in this area where white could build. And robots are really good and in tune with using these cracks, like these really hard cracks, especially. So I believe that's the reasoning black doesn't develop this, is because black actually has a crack to invade later. I don't know how true it is. That's, that's, my, that's my interpretation. So the game, black plays here. All right, another uh, position, candidates. Thank you. Tengen. Always wrong, but sure, you can count C17. it. C17. C17, approach, or uh, invade here. OK. Yeah, Which one? It is work before. What did go? Oh, yeah, this one? Yeah. Sure. He's got two candidates, only two moves. What about B3? Just get those guys in. Oh, just clean this? Stay Very there. slow move. Yeah. Very slow move. Something around C14 and approach instead of. Yeah, pretty nice. Seems natural. 
could okay. break up the right hand side and I don't know, play K17. Okay. I think that's four. Um, could also approach on the inside or uh, at F17. Five. F4. Six. Um, P16. Attach the enclosure. Seven. Oh, uh, oh you're thinking about it, but. Right, you want. You got this? Well, that's a weird Yeah. Thing. That's, that's terrible. Don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> I've seen something like that that's similar though. On, on a 4-4 four, four stone or a 3-4 stone? Yeah, it was a 3-4 stone. Okay. 3-4, I, I, I kind of okay. believe you. 4-4, four, four, even if black just plays the most peaceful way, ooh, that's solid. And then right now there's still Aji. Like white can even just invade directly from Arco um, or play this to share. And this is just, no, nope. this, is, this is I need a ladder breaker immediately emergency. <laughs> Alex fell. I think I thought it was a three four stone. Turn. Okay. All right, anything else? Um, did we say C14? Another one? C, yeah, we did. Uh, Q13, shoulder hit. Q13, yeah, yeah, good. That's a good one. Um, so I have a question. Yeah. All of, the, all of the suggestions tend to try and build more strength around an existing stone than just equalizing on the board and going into a vacant area. Yeah, so so here's the, the the crux, right, especially in the opening. You know, intuitively you want to play the biggest area, the most open area, right? That's the least settled. You want to play there first. But at the same time, you also want your stones to work together, right? So if you have something, you want to parlay that. You want to, you want to expand on it. You want to grow it at the expense of your opponents. And so those two things are always in balance, right? Playing in this, like, there's a giant open he area here, here, and here, where's biggest versus, oh, maybe this is a wall, maybe I can build something here. That's, that's go. And again, today's lesson is not about choosing a candidate. It's just coming up with them in the first place, right? We're just, we're just trying to give you guys a bunch of, you know, or, or the feeling that there really is a lot of these blue sky moments in a game where there's a lot of possibilities we to shape anything? the board. Oh, sorry. Yeah. We don't have 17. F17, I don't think I haven't said it yet, but it's possible, yeah. And then like C10-ish, an extension off of that semi-strength. Sure. Or D10. Dave, do you want to list your five moves again? Uh, yeah. I'll like list a different five. <laughs> <laughs> How about yeah. uh, do something from the lower left, like O4 or Q6? Good, all right. Uh, none of these were the moves that were played. Mm -hmm. one, one came close. G style. Oh, I was going to say that. That was your next move? You're going to say G5 right now? I was going to say that. Wow, nice move. Uh, what's the idea of this move? Uh, it's like F4 except that it builds out more. I don't know. <laughs> it sets up for an extension a little bit. It protects. Right, sir. Yeah. yeah, so so this, the, the problem with this is that it still has these, this Aji, right? So when black pushes here, uh, black can keep pushing, and white can't respond strongly, right? Have you guys seen this sequence, right? So run out, extend, Atari, extend, white's kind of hosed here, like there's actually not enough liberties. So white will have to get up the corner, get up something on the outside. So this is kind of actually an important area uh, to, to get some sort of strength. Um, meanwhile, this Panuki, Panukis are strong, right? But if white has a stone here, what in black tanukis, what is white going to do? Pincer the tanuki? Either pincer or lean like this. Both of these would be very good results for white. Uh, that panuki is not going anywhere fast. Like you're just gonna get a bunch of strength on the outside. Um, and to some degree, this also neutralizes some of this Aji, right? Now we, white might be able to start thinking about building something here um, because I said there was this crack well, now we have another stone lined up to hammer down whatever stone comes in here to, to take advantage of that crack. So white is going to harass this group while getting this group out and to some degree indirectly de defending this crack, even though there's no, there's no potential here. White doesn't have an extension. This is part of the thinking. Uh, does black respond? What a good question. 
podcast at every move. <laughs> the board has one extra stone. Thank you. This is page four. Or J3. I was thinking J3. Maybe H3. H3. But the there are three idea, candidates. The general idea would be that maybe it's time for the block to extend out a little bit there. Mm -hmm. Any other candidates? You guys recorded this as a miss, right, Bill? Yeah, yeah. That was our first miss, right? Another first one? All right. I, I would have gotten that one. Three, three choices to get to the house of it. Any other candidates here? Well, black doesn't play. Do, there, do, do you mean candidates for black to play local? Candidates, well, just, just period. Then playing about F5. F5 for this cut? Yeah. You, sir, are crazy. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> maybe? Maybe? Uh, Atari? <laughs> you know, now, I should probably make this exchange first. But right now, it doesn't quite work, this cut, because there's three liberties here and there's two liberties here. Mm -hmm. right, this, is, this is the crack you're trying to exploit, but and this, this method of cutting doesn't quite do it. Okay. It gets real close, but not good. Is it H5? H5, attach. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call time. You guys had all the time you needed to blue sky the moves. How about J4? It's two misses, guys. Two misses. No. Oh, um, you said H4. You said, yeah, went all you said H4 over. and J3. Yeah, I'm just going a little bit free. When you look at this move, there's this obvious defect. But is this defect a problem right now? Since a strong player played it, I'm guessing the answer is no. No. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there's, well, here, we, you can see instantly how this defect is defeated, right? If black can push here, and black can push here. What's white going to do? Here? That's terrible. Here? This stone's dead. So defect cannot be taken advantage of directly. And so this is, this is the thing. When you do find candidates, then you have to read. So your first goal in any move, right, is come up with all your candidates. And whichever candidates are the, are the strongest, fastest, most violent, uh, most harrowing, those are the ones you should spend your time reading first. So come up with all your candidates. If one of them looks like that's, that's dangerous, but oh man, does it create a lot of problems and, and that'd be so good for me. That's the one you want to read. And you keep reading it, and if you find something wrong with it, what do you do? You go to your next candidate, you say, okay, bye-bye, I'm done, I'm done with you. Uh, there are some Go players, some of them may even be in this room, who will find their most violent move, read it out and go, oh, that doesn't work. But then they start getting inside their own head and thinking, oh, but my opponent might not see what I see. They might not be able to figure out that it doesn't work, and I might be able to trick them. No, stop that. You're, don't do that. What if you just play it because then they have to read it up? Yeah. That, that falls in the same category. I want to dissuade you from doing that right now. Uh, that's okay to do in teaching games, but that's about the end of it. You will get... Is that what we call a teaching games? <laughs> sure. If it's, if it's a nine stone handicap game, knock yourself out. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, the, part of the idea of playing here, again, this, some of these other shapes are actually better shapes. Right? This shape has a defect. If white plays again, th this defect could be easily exposed. Mm -hmm. But both of these players are in a situation where they just want a Tanuki as fast as possible. Like, no one wants to spend more time futzing around this group right now. And so both of them are playing these, these a little bit, you know, loose and fast kind of moves. Uh, candidates for white. C14. Good, we're done. That's the move. <laughs> Is that it? That's it. <laughs> Damn. Are there other things we should be looking at here? Uh, 
Why, why is it such a fat, easy candidate to first identify? He's got a Moyo now, kind of. Yeah, we, we've actually helped this wall. Remember this wall, this, this crack, this defect, and we've actually expanded it towards the middle. We've built something. This goes back to your question, remind me your name? Steve. Steve. Uh, when we are playing the opening, sometimes we just want to play the biggest space, but other times we want to play where we, you know, we're making parts of the board more valuable. Well, there's a giant wall somewhere over here. That means this part is more valuable. This, this we can turn into some points very quickly. And so White's just going, yep, I've got some influence here. That's more valuable. You know, this is, this is, uh, this is the, when you've, you know, you're looking at homes and real estate, like you can buy the wide open land and build your own property, right? Or you can buy a little condo with all the upgrades and the granite countertops, <laughs> right? This can be worth a lot too. Like it's, all, it's, only, it's only 500 square feet, but man, you should see the toilets. They're golden plated. <laughs> Right? Like we made this area very valuable, even though, even though it may not be that big. It's easily developed. I thought that was a good metaphor. None of you guys. <laughs> I like the toilet. <laughs> That's what sold it. It's very presidential. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. <laughs> All right. Uh, black candidates, what do we got? Good back He's going to answer. Yeah. One? Yeah, go, on. go on. He can answer. answer. Two? Uh, Three? Four? Five? Oh, C15. Six? Is that touching to the outside of the table? D14. D14. Seven? Yes. John, what'd you say? See, I, like, I like that one. Oh, you like this one? This is your kind of move. I know. I know. <laughs> Have we not said it yet? Is that too slow? We haven't said it yet. Uh, C10. There we go. Okay. So However, I put this into the Lilo Zero robot earlier today. She likes that one. Of course she does. Uh, but this is the one that the number one Go player in the world played. Any reason why? He. Doesn't want the other guy to get the gold-plated bathrooms. Yeah, there's no, no toilets for you. <laughs> if anyone's going to work on the plumbing, it's going to be me. <laughs> Is it because the, the crack is still there? There's still a crack there, number one. And number two, we've invested this real estate. Or these, you know, we've invested into this. So it's worth fighting over. Uh, Lizzie disagrees and is like, you know what? That's fine. That's still invadable. There's still a crack there. <laughs> you go build your own thing. So, you talked about the real estate. There's a lot of, 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 um, of pieces that have been placed down there. That, yeah. meant, that meant your opponent spent a lot of energy or time, yeah. resources building that. Yeah. That's what you meant by your statement that if he put that much work into it, it turns it more valuable yeah. just because of the energy it took. Yeah, well, resources. well let's, let's add a few more stones. Okay, within, if I get four more stones, six, seven, eight, I can make almost 50 points. Actually, more than 50 if you count, I wasn't even counting the corner. So with four stones, 50 point territory, that's, that's a pretty good investment because this area is, has been invested. Like, I've already have one of the walls up in the house. Uh, and you can imagine a lot of scenarios where it's actually not that unreasonable for white to get a few plays in a row like that, right? Imagine black doesn't do that, black does something like this. Well, if white plays here now, this stone's under a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna spend a move to get it out? Sure. You're gonna have to. Okay, maybe white presses here a little bit. You can, you can, you can see this can get out of hand, right? Because we're already, we already have one side built. So you harass a little bit over here, get a couple free moves. Okay. Right here, here, candidate time. Uh, E10. E10. Just dodge. <laughs> Just like, I'm gonna eat you. <laughs> the K17 stone is a texture. Thank you. C8. 
C8. Just say, okay, I've got, I'm going to defend <laughs> my plumbing and put pressure on the blackstone. Okay? Um, D11. Like attack very loosely to help this get stronger and, and then counterattack here. Okay. Uh, C17. Yeah. This is definitely one you got to look at. Yeah, that's good. Also F17. Uh, for the record, the robot likes this one. F17. Also good, yeah. Yeah, attack the corner. You could jump out. Mm -hmm. uh, pressure yeah. on the other stone. Yeah, same thing. Just, just build up strength here and then maybe go after this. Okay. Yeah, yeah. good, good. You have not got it, but I don't, I, you know, the move that the pro played here is a little bit weird. C12. It's almost like a trick move. <laughs> uh, yeah, this should be a candidate. This should, be, this should also yeah. be a candidate. So, maybe E9. 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 That's... That was, I think, mentioned. Or one close to one. Yeah. This is strange. What would that do? I don't know. I don't know what this move would do. Yeah, we're, so what's we're your idea? What's your idea? Issues, so. You said, Steve, you said this, right? Yeah, so what's your idea with this move? Well, you had pointed out that if you got a, a very dispersed wall on the out lower right, yeah. you would have captured all this energy. Right. And, and I had the impression that well, maybe it didn't matter if there were a few blacks in there, because you would be able to whittle down their, their life and you would take that whole area anyway. But yeah, but, but so, so good, but the problem is the shape is too thin at this moment. The timing is, is off, because mm -hmm. this is sort of like we're trying to enclose our, our beautiful new home. It's better to build toward that. You gotta, you gotta yeah, you, it's, it's like you put the roof on before the walls, mm -hmm. a little bit in this case. The house isn't going to stand. It's going to get See. torn through. So you have to have your foundation. Yeah. You have to have your pivot points to work with. Yeah, there is, there, is a, there is an order. Do we try C11? That's what I was about to say, in the spirit of weird moves, C11. Um, no, no, all right. I, I think this, this, this one didn't happen. Yeah. But to but be fair, I would not have guessed the, the candidate move would, not, would have been one oh. that I would have said either. Yeah. Double down. Strange. Yeah. I would have guessed C16 before that. Yeah. What is this move saying? Can I have part of your corner? <laughs> Normally, but Black didn't defend anything, right? Yeah. So it's not even like if like Mike could have just played this yeah. right, without yeah. consideration. It's almost like he's anchoring the wall, maybe. Yeah, that's that's and this metaphor is actually paying good dividends. Um, we're like really digging this wall in. Like we're really digging a deep foundation for this wall. Uh, we're saying this stone is important. I want it to make a base and. Uh, that's it. So B16 is maybe not so much trying to get to a corner, it's just trying to provide a wall for the other stone. It's yeah. ideally, um, you know, white would like to either attack the stone or the stone defends itself, then we'll eat the corner and, and not just have the corner, but have the corner and get out a little bit this way, like still have the stone kind of separated. It's a weird move uh, because of, of how like pig-headed it is. Like this is just, we would normally see this, I used to normally see this in this position, right? Black defends this way, black showing some interest in the corner. You say, no, 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 are you sure you want the corner? Great, I'm gonna make a little solid group right here. But white is doing this without this move here, right? It's like white is saying, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna ask for a little bit of corner, even though you haven't invested a move in the corner. Black has not made this area more valuable yet, right? Similar to how white made this more valuable because of this wall. Black can make the corner more valuable with a move like this, because now the corner is defended on one side. And so if white does something else, black says, thank you, 15 points. So it's just strange in the context. What do you think black does? C12 or C17? There it is, yeah. yeah. Black does this. Yeah. So why? He needs to help his C10 stone that's in the middle of white. Yeah, especially if this is strong and this group is digging in to get more strength. I feel a little pressure. <laughs> so 
So I'll just solve it, solve that pressure, give it a little bit more room for a base. And the nice thing is this actually puts pressure on these two white stones to settle. Right? If light comes here now, black's like, great, uh, I'll, I'll dodge or do something. You know, I'll, I'll, you, you took the corner, but you took it too slowly. It's like you overinvested. Uh, white, white, mm, this, white's not happy about just taking the corner. E14? Yeah, yeah, good. So no, I still want, I still want to put pressure here. And I still want to put pressure here. That was my intention. I just wanted to dig a foundation first. Though arguably this stone isn't actually doing much right now. Like it's a weird, it's a weird. I don't know, I'm not, I'm just not happy about this stone. Like it's, it's okay. It's not terrible, but it's not. Uh, very directed. I think it does a lot. If it's if it's not there, then that wall is completely different. It's not really even a wall. But if black defends here, mm -hmm. white's super happy taking the outside. Right, this corner is not big. Mm. Well, maybe maybe white really doesn't want to give black the opportunity to link up under here. So maybe there's that. But in general, the outside is worth a lot more than the inside. So, I don't know. I don't know. Better go play with me, played it. <laughs> I'm saying. Black candidates. C17. C Alright, so C17 is a bad idea, arguably. Why? Getting it surrounded. Yeah, now white. Yeah. This looks worse, right? Yeah. So F16. So, not a good candidate. Uh, F16. Uh, uh, here. Yeah, yeah. Good. This is the robot move. Mm. This is the one Lilo Zero wanted to play. For the record. So the robot has been figuring that either uh, white can't split two, two stones or the robot thinks for some reason why that doesn't matter. Uh, white can't. Or easily yeah, split the two stones. Or white yeah. pops down there like E sixteen or something. Yeah. It's not a real problem. What's the next move? It's not. I mean what here? It's not good. Not. Cut? <laughs> doesn't it doesn't feel great. Even even if this stone is dead. Find out need to defend the corner here. It seems kind of small at this point. Yeah, right. Like it's yeah. it's not doing much. So it's it's not so much that black black is is actively defending this stone as he is saying you know if you if you really want it it's just not going to be worth your while. Yeah. All right, black will still make a nice group over here. Um, in the game. They put here. And it's very similar, similar idea. Uh, this one, of course, likes this formation a little better, right? High is very optimistic, where we're, again, making this part of the board more valuable now. This move also makes this part, more, part of the board more valuable, but uh, this stone can be reduced more easily, right? White can lean on over here and get bigger, get out more, which might eventually result in this group getting harassed. But I think if you play one of those, you're a pretty good go player. All right, candidate move for white. Okay, so E12. E12, just come on top. Okay, it feels a little slow, actually. Yeah. But sure. Maybe just going down G14. G14, just jumping again. Feels very bubbly. <laughs> There's a lot of space here. C8 to stop them from making a safe base up yeah. there. Make your tiny dream cottage. I mean, I would that's not even for the points. It's like to make sure that yeah. to make sure that that black group can't okay. so easily settle. Uh -huh. yeah. Is this this makes sense? This is a natural move. Um, 
But there's still this problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason the dream cottage is not great. I know, right? Like, like the dream cottage still has a leak. <laughs> like, what do you do here? You call it top? I don't know. This is tough. Because uh, I can still go this way, I can still use that Aji. It's rough. Uh, what'd you say, John? There's a B8. Oh, uh, just play there. Oh, for. Black goes to the B6. Oh, you're going to play here? Right there. Oh, no. No. No? No. You're, you, you just needed to call the plumber. Your, oh. your septic tank just erupted. Mm -hmm. Now C4 is the only move left. Oh, no. <laughs> All that shit just spilled out everywhere. <laughs> no good. <laughs> yeah, <you're> dead. <laughs> So yeah, defending this is weird. Mm -hmm. It feels really weird. Like I said, I saw it as attacking the. No, it's a candidate. It's a good candidate. It's a move. On. It should be on your candidate list. I'm just, I'm just poo pooing on your parade here. Uh, Q17. Attach the four four. That's big. Yep. Okay. Good candidate. A bunch of moves in the upper right. Splitting those two stones or going on the three three. Like what? Uh, e16. Uh, E17, C17, I don't know, something like that. All right, no one got it. No. Yeah, that, would, <laughs> that would have been eventually on the list. This is very similar to this, just slightly better shape for white. Like, really. Not too exciting, actually. Um, white really dug in here now. Um, I don't know, I, I mean, at this point, uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not sure white is in a great position, but it doesn't feel like as good a position. Like, it, it's, it doesn't feel like a bad, let me put it this way. White's not in a bad position, but it's hard to feel like white is winning when black comes out of here with the next move. Um, the stone doesn't know what it's doing yet. It's very floating. It's very, it's very like off in the distance, off in time, like not really putting enough pressure on this. This has been treated very lightly by black. So it has profit, profit, and profit, three corners of profit. What does black have? Some Aji. Right, there's still a crack over here. A weakish group at the top. Kind of weak, like Black has two of these sort of like amorphous, kind of maybe weak groups, but they're still not super weak either. Like they're they're perfectly manageable. Like yeah. you can't really attack them in any meaningful way. Like there's a little bit of potential on the right side. Good. Where's the next move? You're Black. K sixteen. Done. Mm -hmm. uh, robot like there better. But either one. It's good. All right, next move for white. Candidates, here we go. Let's do an official. You gotta get in there, right? Same spot. Q17 is still a Are there? Move. Yeah, that's a good candidate. M17. That's also a good candidate. You could also go for the direct invasion at R17. Possible. Uh, less likely than this at this point, though. Your co threats are <laughs> all the other groups. <laughs> Ah, uh, kind of, I guess, but this is, I mean, both, the, both the corner and this are big. So I think when they're both big, you want to ask a move like this. You want to say, okay, Black, you can take either one, rather than say, I want the corner, right? Sure. Like this is, this is, when you choose the direction, when you define the direction, often you get a less good deal. If you make your opponent choose the direction, you, you often get a slightly better deal. That's, that's the case here. Makes sense. Yeah, Steve. question is... At this point, I see that you're you're jumping in. You're not going to let him get further along, black further yeah. along. If you don't do it now, you lose the whole thing. So you've got to get in there. Yeah. Rather than wasting a move doing something more general, building out anywhere else. Yeah, I totally. Except the pro player does something else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
allowed. Is that because the pro player has a more finely attuned sense of discipline? We have to do this. I don't know. Oh. I, I would assume so. I would hope so. It's also possible that it's not too late to invade. Like what? Well, like one more move doesn't necessarily sew up all the problems. This is, this is still a little bit of a weakness here. I know. I know it's a bunch of stones that look strong, but you know. Yeah. You can still kind of wedge it there. So I'm thinking that at some point here, that lower left corner is going to be such the, so much the biggest opportunity that White's going to have to play in there. Yeah. If Black doesn't push it first, at some point, White says no, nothing else is as big as securing that lower corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. Absolutely. And I think I think if you play here right now, I don't I don't care what the robot said, but I think this is a good move. Like I think I you're a down level player. You play this like minimum. Like this is very reasonable. Oh, there. Yes. <laughs> That's what you wanted to do. Yeah, yeah. Something, something in there. Okay. Uh, I think the other thing the robot really liked in this position. Let's hear. Robots do like that shoulder. Hit. Robots like that shoulder hit. See if you can make black a little thicker here, and then and choose your invasion point. I think is more the robot way of thinking. Well, what happens if black extends one more time? Sure. And then what? I'm convinced. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Choice? Here? Here? All good. Let's play that one. Does black definitely need to play that wedge? No. But it's, uh, <laughs> it's uh, yeah, I mean, black should play wedge. Black, <laughs> black should play wedge. Well, if, black, if white has this formation, white is so much stronger here. And actually, these corner invasions are actually a lot more annoying. Because uh, later on, white can even try moves like this. Because it's cut. If white's strong here. All right. Uh, next move for black candidates. So that is actually white's move. That's the white's move. Yeah. That's that's. R eight. R eight down here. Seems pretty reasonable. Double wing is really nice. Except robots don't care. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I think I think that's I think that's really I think that's a nice move. O three. O three. Yes. Nice. Okay. Good. More. P seventeen. Just take the oh, yeah, yeah. corner and all this. Sorry, no. You build. I build. Yeah. Okay. If Black does ignore that, what's White's next natural follow up from that formation? Sure. Uh, no, actually, oh, sure that. And there's also this one. This one. This one. This one. I was actually in the lower left corner. Oh, oh, oh. oh for black to play here? What's the next natural for thing for white to do if black ignores it? I'm uh, not used to the 3-3 three, three formations. It's probably extend this way. Okay. Especially given this harassable group. Sure. Mm -hmm. Any other candidates? M3, N3, something over there. Well, uh, the other side. Oh, three, right. Ah. <laughs> that was something over there, yeah. Okay. All those. All, of those. All those. All those. Good. There's eight candidates right yeah. there. It's White's move. What about C7? R9. C7. Yeah. Good. Ah. <laughs> Almost built. Taking advantage of the toilet? Yeah, the toilet. Toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, part of this is uh, Black just being very conscious. What does Black have to worry about on this board? Is there any super large white group, white territories that are going to balloon? Does Black have to worry about invading anywhere? Not really. Are there any groups that might come under attack as Black? Yeah, probably this one. So we're just we're just making an exchange, seeing if we can get. You know ourselves to feel a little bit safer. Uh, white place here. All right, next move. That's the, okay. 
Uh, we're going to aim at this crack directly. This is this feels this feels aggressive to me, but uh, robot really likes it. Pros like it. Everybody likes it. Uh, if I play this, I feel like I'm going to get counterattacked. And if I get split here, then there's going to be weakness, and then I'm going to have another weak group. But white doesn't really have time to do anything over here because black will just slice. So is that a common approach mm -hmm. to that? So white fixes, black comes down, white makes shape, black hanes, and I think the robot likes this move, but white doesn't play it. So where does white play? What are your candidates? Hint, hint, think about my greatest, darkest fears. <laughs> H3. This one, I'm not fearful of yet. <laughs> There's, this one doesn't work yet, right? Nothing, nothing, not enough has changed over here, right? We showed that this stone still dies. L3 or L4? L4, L4 is closer. L3, N3, that one. That one. <laughs> and again, there is this, this, this fear point, right? But it doesn't work unless we have something else. So we're gonna try to see if our opponent will give us that something else we need in tempo. How do you feel, Black? Okay, no idea. No idea? You don't know how to feel? <laughs> well, you have this little floating thing, and you have this thing. It's not 100% settled. You said K3, K3 K5. K5. Hane? Hane? This is the one. Yeah. This one, how would this go? Where's the next white move in the sequence? Uh, L3. This is, this is the sequence for white. Yeah. If you've never seen this before, welcome to Modern Go. <laughs> Uh, in the old days, and by old days I mean five years ago, <laughs> we would expect to see this, these types of splits. Uh, but this, as long as white can withstand being covered like this, and white totally can, uh, we're, we're playing these contact moves, right? Less bubbly moves, no more dame. So how would the sequence go this way? This? Yeah. Uh, at this point, I don't know. Now it's reading. <laughs> and ladders. Maybe there, just to fix that side. Maybe a higher once now. Peep once. Maybe. I don't know. This is my 10 second guess at a good sequence. Hmm? What doesn't work? Here? That's awesome. Great. Are you gonna cut? Okay. I mean, black, black can do this. This is this is fine. But white's gonna cover the outside, and if black doesn't respond again, white's gonna hunt it here, right, and continue to chip away at the the strength of this group. Especially not when this group still doesn't have two eyes, right? Now there's this sequence down here. Yeah. So, yeah, you have to be careful. Uh, those traps, right? Those double peeps. You're like, it's a double peep, there's a weakness there. <laughs> and yes, there is. Oh man, if you take advantage of it, or try to take advantage of it, and it's not. It's not, a, it's not a heavy shape, it's a flexible shape. Your opponent will find a way. Oops, so black does Hane here. Oops. White Hane is on the outside. We got ourselves a little old fashioned fighting sequence. Uh, black plays a really sharp move here. Totally not on my radar, although it probably should be. Double You guys are not gonna, just, just <laughs> Bill right next. You're not, no one's getting this. No. If, if, if anyone had this as a candidate move, raise your hand. Okay, good. <laughs> you failed that one. I did too. So this is one again, looking at like, what? Oh, this isn't here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. This is, it's like this. Anyone? Anyone now? Now would you yeah. find that move? I want to play something connected to the Q3. Q3, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
This one. Uh, this is kind of like a weird probe. Mm -hmm. um, black, black is obviously in this tense sequence, you know, trying to figure out what the best sequence here is in this very tense middle situation between these two groups. Uh, and black is sort of asking, hey, can this group just settle and eat your corner? And if so, then I don't have to really fight here. I can just make everybody solid and cool and we can all go home happy. <clears throat> and if white does want to defend this, uh, black actually gained a little bit extra down here for, for you know, base and eye making purposes later. Uh, and will then, you know, work harder to, to attack these two stones. And so that's kind of why I'm calling it a probe, right? It's sort of like, it's, a, it's an asking move. It's like, what do you, can I just take your corner? Can we just settle this? This is, this is my offer. And if white doesn't want to settle it, it's actually really awkward for white. If white's like, no, that's my corner. Well, now black will be able to use this Atari. Black doesn't really want to take this Atari, right? Because the corner Aji. Right here. There, there's, there's weaknesses here. Black doesn't really want to make white stronger. So black doesn't want to have to take this. If white says, aha, but I like my corner. Now black knows, OK, I can take that when in this fight, as we're both running out, if I need that stone, I'm happy to take that there. Uh, and if I don't need it, I'll play this one later. I'll play this one. That's interesting. If white defends this way, <laughs> almost the same exact thing, right? It, this doesn't really help it. There's still a weakness here on this side, and there's still this Atari if black needs it. Emergency. Uh, yes, Q players, you gotta, like, this is the type of move you have to look, to look at and say, that's an emergency move. This is not an Atari you should intuitively take. This shape is garbage. When your opponent's shape is garbage, you have to make them fix it. It's going to take them longer to fix it on their own than if you help them fix it. <laughs> this helps them fix it. Quite so much happier. But sometimes you just need a stone here because there's a very violent fight going on out, out your front door. So we're keeping that in our pocket. Uh, White says, uh, no, 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 I'm not, we're doing that. <laughs> Get a little bit forward here. Uh, white makes shape. All right, and then next black move, candidates. I would look at H3. But... H3 is block and help solidify. Yeah. Is it, is it, does this make you two eyes? Does this make you alive? No. It does threaten to make two eyes with another move. So it's like, it's like half, it's a threat to make two eyes. Does this move do anything else? Yeah. If I take that stone away, is that Panuki still connected out? Yeah. Well, no. no. Not to my eyes. Yes, it is. You guys, come on. <laughs> still connected. <laughs> this way. Still connected. That way. Either way, still connected. <laughs> Does it, you can't actually disconnect this. So this is a good shape move. I like it as a shape point, but not needed. And also my camera battery has now reached the point where it's, it's an empty battery with a slash through it. This is very exciting. M4? M4? Yeah. Uh, try to help the ones below it. Maybe, but here's my question for you. If light cuts, what happens? <laughs> Fine. Okay. Um, but what happens to that white stone? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. What, what are you yaying me about? Oh, it gets laddered. Yeah, it gets laddered. This stone dies. Yeah. Ladder. Do it. Yeah. Ready? You can see it. White runs. Atari that way. Black plays there. Atari that way. Black plays there. Atari did. Not needed. Okay. And if you don't need it, Patience. wouldn't you like to play that instead? Yeah. Now this is a little bit dangerous because there is a. We Panuki here, but you want to aim to move like that. Um, but all things considered, because these two stones are connected to this Panuki, and white invested so much here. Mm. Robin, this is what you threatened. White did not take you on your deal. This was the deal. 
you gotta follow through. So they play this, and here. This shape is done. White's gotta get out. <laughs> and then after that, black can also get out. No, compared to how many And so, that corner, who owns this? White's gonna play here actually in the game for the Aji. But it is indeed black. Yeah, I'm not really sure how. White can seal in. But black got to take the corner. White got a group here. Black is out. Still not strong. We identified this a long time ago. This is a Panuki that could be attacked, could be harassed. Um, after that move, oh, white gets more Aji. <laughs> they play this out just a little bit. That's a, that's a big move. Again, this is just um, they're just they're just settling, you know, getting getting gaining and trying to quash the Aji in that corner. Like it's already been settled. Okay, mm -hmm. black black has the corner. All right, here you go. This is your final one, final final time. Candidates. For which player? For on white move. So arguably, you could say it doesn't really matter. Uh, o three. O three. Uh, other side. O three. This is a nice move. Yeah. This is this is a move the robot really likes, though the pros don't play it forever. Okay. Well, this is a very big move. It's, it's Q7. Good. Q7. Good move. Q7? Uh, oh, Q7. Q7. So, Q7. Yep. I like this one a lot. This is not the move they play, but I like this one M17. a lot. Q17. This is an exercise in getting candidates. Where your, where, where your moves you want to look at? Which one? Q13 shoulder hit. Good. H6. Continue harassing that black yeah. group on the left. Good. Good point. Yeah, they do play that later, actually. Like, actually, these these points, some of these points that you guys have listed, um, are are like the next after the move that they play are the very next moves, right? So your candidates. So often when you find candidates, you got to keep them like in a little list in your mind, right? Like they're still going to be candidates later. later. And so, even if you don't like finding candidates, <laughs> you got to do it because it's just going to make your game so much more efficient. Is there a white move around S7 to close off black in the corner? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Something around there? Yeah, some, yes, there is. But R3. Not, not yet. R3? R3? R3. 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 R3
Don't try to do it necessarily too much before that, right? Come up with your best ideas, figure out the things you want to do, because even if it's not big enough to do right now, you'll want to do it later. And so you can become very efficient. Um, in any game with reading, chess, go, uh, what I've heard is that you never want to read a position more than once. Basically, you want to get enough confidence in your reading ability such that if you find a candidate move, you want to read out your best possible variations of that, best possible sequences once, and then don't ever do it again. And so, again, when you're finding these candidates, even if you find a really good one that is just isn't big enough right now, if you spend some time reading it and it looks good, don't go reread it later. Just, just you have, if you're on a tournament clock, like, you know, play that move when the timing works for you when it, when it becomes a big enough move. What I find is that you know, read it and I'm not certain, so they can go back and follow some branch or something. And, but then I can't do all the branches. Yeah, we all do that. Yeah. I'm kind of skating over a little bit, and I see something that's, well, wait a minute, if I'd gone a little bit differently, four moves back. That's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, when, I, when I tell you that you should only be reading these positions once, I understand it's a little bit of a pipe cream because I, I don't do that either, right? Like, yeah, you know. But that is the goal that I want you to work towards. Okay, that is that is the rainbow at the end of the. Well, that would be that would be not big for sake. That would be like doing it and doing it right. Yes. Yeah. And I have struggled just to do it, doing it right is another. We all do, John. <laughs> yeah. That is the goal. Uh, if you are playing your games and you're constantly just just trying to reevaluate the entire board every move, like that's really cool, but oh my god, you're gonna burn yourself out. And so again, having this idea of these candidates, this, these lists of areas and these potential moves in those areas, it's just a shortcut to make you so much more efficient. So you can focus your time on actually reading, again, the most violent, you know, damaging sequences you can possibly find. That's where you really want to spend that kind of energy. Uh, if you are spending too much energy you know, rereading the same positions or refining the same candidates every time. Man, is it not, not good. So, anyway. So, out of the 17 oh, yes. questions yes. that Bill. you asked us, we got six right. That's all? <laughs> That's all we got. We did not need questions. Well, well yeah, that is 30% like correct. Yeah, well, there, there was a lot that I kind of, I, I was going to give you guys the points for, right, where they were... One-off? Um, not one-off, but like, like sequences that I kind of asked where a candidate was, and you guys said the correct move, and I just assumed that counted for you guys. But... I mean, well, you can give us more points. I don't know. We can watch the video. Actually, yeah, so you have to review the, make video. the YouTube people at home watch the video. <laughs> And Put actually the count comments. their score, huh? Put it in the comments. That's right. Put it in the comments, please. <laughs> How many did the class get right? <laughs> we were we were very scientific about this. This was kind of like a go game. Half art, half science. All right, you guys want to play some games?